An officer was shot Saturday morning along Ottawa Avenue near East 71st Street. Just hours earlier, an officer shot someone along East 146th Street. Those cases leading to an emergency call to outfit Cleveland officers with body cams. Tracy Carlos live on 5 to continue our team coverage. And Tracy, that meeting just wrapped up. Yeah, Chris, it did, and the Finance Committee did go ahead and pass it. The next step is a vote by the entire City Council coming up in just a couple of hours here at City Hall tonight. It is expected to pass, and the cameras will be rolled out by the first quarter of next year. But that is not soon enough for Cleveland Councilman Zach Reed. He wants the body cameras for police officers fast tracked. There have been three shootings in the past 30 days, two, as you mentioned, over the past weekend alone. Reed says the legislation will be be there. The money is there, and officers should have these cameras ASAP. When these body cameras are instituted for police officers, that complaints from citizens go down by 80 percent, and the conduct of police officers go up by 60 percent. We know they work. Our concerns are probably tenfold your concerns, and I've been working on this project for four years. So there's no one here dragging themselves. We're trying to do the right thing, and that's what we're going to do. And we will be deploying the body cameras in the first quarter of next year. And Public Safety Director Mike McGrath says, you know, you need the proper procedures and training in place before these cameras can be rolled out. And he says that will take place, and they will have those cameras in either January, February, or March of next year. By the way, the cost of this project is $1.6 million. On your side, in Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.